Uh, you guys up for a little experimenting? I got a bunch of interference colors from Just Resin, and I wanted to see how they interacted with some nice ocean colors, too. Let's find out. experiment I did a pour recently where I did some interference colors intermingled with other colors and it had a really unusual effect and I kind of wanted to explore that a little bit um, it was really cool I have to admit so I'm gonna layer up some interference colors with some other we're just gonna see what happens okay so first thing I'm gonna do is put in a little bit of white I like to start them off with white I don't know, it just feels like the right thing to do. Um, so the interference colors that I have are a blue and a green, but I also have a gold. But what I did differently with the gold is I threw in a little bit of the uh, bright gold powder into it, just a little bit. So I should be able to get some of that um, bright gold coming to the surface as well as the interference look to it. I don't know, we'll have to find out. But it's looking rather gold right now. <laughs> so that might be a, a bomb, I don't know. And then the other one is an interference green. So we will find out, let's see. And I'll, at the end of the video, I'll put a picture in with the colors that I'm using today. So if you're interested in any of the colors, you can look it up. Let's see. Now this is more of a green color here. So I'm not sure how that's gonna turn out, but I'm kind of excited about it. And then I've got a dark turquoise in here and a new blue oh i don't remember the color name i have to look that up let me pour some of that in there and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna reverse the beginning order of it so i get some more of the white and then the interference colors so that's how i'm going to end it off at I always end up saving a little bit of the white in case I want to pull that into the piece. So I'm not sure if it's going to go really light or really blue. It is a mystery. Now look at the gold coming up on the sides and then I put the gold in the middle. Yeah. Hopefully I didn't overdo it on the gold. Maybe I should end this with a darker color. Red. I think this one is called Lagoon. I got this one in the mystery box from uh, Erica, or oh, ours till death. So that's a fun color. It's a very cream, but I mean, it's a, like a, a very, uh, you can't really see because that cup makes it dark. It's a very cream, um, kind of a mermaid color. That blue green look to it. Let's see, what am I looking for? All right, let's put some clear down and start doing a little skin coat there with some clear so that way my colors will glide on top. Be all happy. Okay. 
And hit with the heat gun just to get rid of the bubbles and also to make it a little bit more fluid. Makes it easier for spreading around and stuff. I'm gonna put it down a little bit too much. So if I put down a little bit too much, what I'll end up doing is taking my hand and pretty much scraping it on the edge of the cup that I have my clear in. So that way I can use it for another project. And I definitely have too much. Yeah. <laughs> See how much is going in? I mean, that could be a couple coasters right there. focused on what I'm doing. Sorry, I can't talk. <laughs> I try. All right, let's get rid of that goopy glove. Get a fresh one and hit that with a torch and we'll get ready on the colors. guys a question do you want to see me working on the mixing of the resin and the adding the colors in and how I go about doing that if you're interested in that let, let me know on the description below and or I guess below <laughs> that'll help me out a lot um, I usually do that on the side and then have all the colors ready to go I just feel like it makes the the video a little bit better on the pacing wise for me, especially since my internet, okay, kind of sucks. And uploading videos takes a while, so I have to be careful on that. But it, I can definitely do a video where I show you all my steps. Check that out, it looks kind of interesting. Here, wait a minute, let me zoom in. I have no idea how this is gonna turn out. Sometimes we just never know. Okay. I think it'll definitely be luxurious with all these interference colors. All right. That was a little faster than I normally do. Okay, so it's definitely a lot of the same tones. So I want to bring in that brilliant blue. Right, let me find out what color name color it is. So I will at least call it by the right color name. Blue Sapphire. And the dark turquoise. And I'm going to put in some of that and maybe blow that. Yeah, I think I'll blow that over. I'm just going to do one big stripe. And then And then I'll help bump up my contrast to give it a little bit more interest. So I'm hoping you can see a little bit of this interference playing right here. And I'm hoping that when I blow this over, if it does create cells, the interference will come through the cells. Wouldn't that be cool?
This time I'm going to blow the opposite direction. Cred did not mean to do that. I'm just going to rotate this around so that way I can blow it a little bit more easily. Okay, so now I'm going to tilt this and start getting this up towards the edge and then do the whole rotation thing and that will get some movement going on around here. So, whoa, and of course I got the resin nice and warm so it's going to move quick. Okay, Let's see what we can do here. I have to be very mindful of the other areas too moving over. All right. I do like the dark in here and I do like it interacting with that. It almost feels like it needs a little bit of dark in here. I'm just gonna go with my feeling here. Where's the white? White. Okay. Okay, now we wait just a moment just to see what it's doing. So if you get any resin on the sidelines, just hit it with a little bit of alcohol on paper towel and especially before it sets. After it sets, well, might have to be some sanding and refinishing. All right, I think I'm okay with this. Yeah, let's let this be. All right. One more time.
time real lightly because I'm seeing a lot of bubbles. to do that again a couple more times. Well, let me bring you in for a close-up. So you guys obviously had the overhead shot. That looks kind of wavy like, like looking overhead on an ocean, crashing into some waves. Right, let me zoom in. So some of this uh, cell development here might continue as it rests, hopefully it will. It did get a little warm, so I don't know what's gonna happen with that. Almost looks celestial in that zone. A lot of pretty blends. Blue always looks good next to wood. And there's some bubbles coming up. I'll definitely have to hit that. But there is a little bit of a shimmer of the gold that is scattered around. So we did get some of the gold in there. Pretty blends right there. Oh, I'll have to see uh, tomorrow and see what happens with this piece. I don't honestly know. Until then, later. All right, here's the next day on this guy. Now, I have to hold it in my hand because the morning sun is kind of bright. But the good point is, is that it gives a nice shimmer or a nice light to the shimmers that are going on on this piece. You see the gold flecks all over the surface? Really pretty. All right, come on, focus. Focus, focus. I think it's busy focusing on the reflection. Uh, let me see if I can walk away there from the sun. Make it a little better. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in. Focus, there we go. So, super stoked about this. Got some interesting textures going on in here. Debating, but I might do a second coat on here just to bring it up a notch. Not sure. That's really interesting there. Love that. The colors in that. The color does seem to be a little bit different in the, the camera that is definitely a vivid teal. But it's definitely coming off more, I'm going to say definitely a lot. Definitely, yeah, I just did it again. It's coming off more blue than what it is. That area is really pretty. All right, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, but definitely hit the bell to get notified next time I put a video up. Later, y'all.